So patch version 1.12.3 for Elden Ring's Shadow of the Erdry destroys some of the best builds we have seen created uh, for the game. Absolutely well guys and today we read through the entire patch notes. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So I was woken to a notification on my Twitter from From Software talking about the latest patch in regards to the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC for Elden Ring. And man, oh man, some of the things I've seen people create, some of these incredible builds have been targeted, have been nerfed. Man, let's get into it. Okay, so the patch is released July 4th, my birthday by the way. Um, it's version 1.12.3, so let's go. PvP exclusive balance adjustments. Okay, so decrease the damage and damage animation of the shooting vacuum effect of the swift slash skill. Cool, but that is it for PvP people. General balance adjustments. Increase the intelligence scaling of the carrion sorcery sword and slightly decrease the base damage. Extended the throw and attack range of the following weapons, the Smith Script Dagger and the Smith Script Cirque. Change the placement of the bosses in the refight against the Golden Hippopotamus and Commander Gore's bosses to be in the same position as in the first fight. Okay, cool, fair enough. So on to bug fixes. Bug fixes, people. Bug. Bug. <laughs> Fix the bug that caused the Rolling Spark skill to deal more damage than expected. Well, there's my build destroyed. Fix the bug that caused the rolling sparks and wall of spark scale to deal no damage while some special effects were applied to the player. That's interesting, actually. Fix the bug where some special effects of a right handed weapon would also be applied to the following weapon skills when cast with the left hand the feeble lord's frenzied flame and the discus hurl. Okay, so fix the bug where successfully guarding while attacking using the thrust and shield weapon type consume less stamina than intended. Fix the bug that prevented players from cancelling the attack recovery of two-handed strong attacks by rolling for certain weapons of the backhand blade's weapon type. Fix the bug that caused the lightning perfume bottle and the frenzied flame perfume bottle weapons to deal double damage under certain circumstances. It's absolutely no wonder now these builds I'm seeing the darn being killed in 11 seconds. Totally because of things like this, that's totally not going to happen anymore. Man oh man, people are going to have to look elsewhere for their builds now, which is something I enjoy doing anyway, I like build crafting, so yeah. Okay, so moving on, and fixed a bug where the arcane scaling of the Blood Fiend's arm weapon was higher than intended when setting an affinity. The status buildup of heavy attack was also reduced. Yep, that's basically the bleed buildup, uh, the bleed affinity with this weapon was stupidly powerful and i believe at a le level 25 the weapon could go up to like 223 bleed build up absolutely insanity guys i made a build around this no doubt that's been nerfed too jeez okay so fix their bug where faith scaling of the gazing finger weapon was not being applied correctly fix their bug where the damage animation of some attacks of the fire knight's greatsword against players was different than expected Fixed a bug where the attack affinity of some attacks of the Fire Knight's Greatsword were different than expected. Fixed a bug that caused some affinities for the following weapons to be higher than intended. The Smith Script Dagger, the Smith Script Cert, the Smith Script Axe, the Smith Script Great Hammer, the Smith Script Spear, the Golden Fist and the Smith Script Shield. <laughs> Jesus guys, wow. Okay, so fix the bug that caused enemies to heal when the maximum HP reduction, gradual HP reduction effect applied by the Black Knife Titch wore off. Okay, so fix the bug that caused summoned NPCs to behave differently than expected under certain circumstances. Okay, so fix the bug that where the unblockable bite attack of the Golden Hippopotamus would uh, connect with players more easily than intended. Yes, I had this issue, guys. This guy kept picking me up in his mouth and slamming me and destroying me. Absolutely annoying. Okay, so fix the bug that caused text to display differently than expected and several other performance improvements and bug fixes. Okay, so possible unstable performance fixes for the PS5 version of the game. Unstable frame rate may be improved by using the rebuild database option from the device's safe mode. 
Okay, in some PC versions, ray tracing may be unintentionally enabled and cause unstable performance. Please check the ray tracing setting in the system graphics settings and ray tracing quality from the title screen or in game. In the PC version, the message inappropriate activity detected may appear without cheating. Uh, to fix this issue, please verify the integrity of the game's files before restarting the game. In the PC version, unstable frame rate may be caused by third party applications that control mouse behavior. Deactivating these third party applications may improve performance. And there we have it guys for these patch notes. I mean, it's not an absolutely massive patch, but the things it has affected are gonna definitely attract many, many players in regards to their build like i said the two main builds i was going to and looking for were the perfume bottle builds especially with the uh, frenzied flame perfume bottle and then we have the lightning perfume bottle too these were the two i absolutely loved i actually started using one in each hand guys if you didn't know you could do that you can use one in each hand um and it's pretty cool they've obviously been nerfed into the ground well i wouldn't say nerfed into the ground now i gotta get on and test them but I'm guessing they're going to be nowhere near as powerful as what they were. And they were absolutely powerful, guys. Like I said, I saw somebody, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. He killed Radan, the last boss of the DLC, in 11 seconds. That's both phases, by the way. Both phases. He killed this dude in 11 seconds, people. Absolute madness. I mean, I made a build with their frenzied flame perfume bottle, and it was utterly disgusting. I ain't killed Leverdan in 11 seconds, so it weren't that powerful. I did craft a build with the lightning perfume bottle that was stupid powerful too, but again, I don't think it's anything on the scale of killing Radan in 11 seconds. So fair play to the dude who did that. I was gonna upload it, but I'm gonna have to rethink about that now. I'm gonna have to retest it. All the footage I recorded against these bosses is obviously useless now, because that isn't gonna be its true effect. But hey, I also posted a build a couple of days back using the blood fiend's arm which was absolutely devastating too with that blood build up and now guys reading through these patch notes that has been changed too uh, so yeah major major fixes people well say fixes changes even it's just going to make players just try out different things which i actually enjoy doing anyway so it doesn't really bother me that much i mean i only create builds for simple use here and there i like to quickly move on from them so yeah it doesn't really bother me that much that it's been nerfed but hey i know there's players out there that struggle to play the game they've seen these guides they've seen these videos and think yep yeah, that build is going to help me push forward and now it's not gonna madness guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out let me know your thoughts down below on this patch i apologize i've got a cold coming i can feel my head swelling up so i apologize about my annoying voice even more annoying than it normally is but yeah guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and hopefully i'll see you on that next one